The music don't play. <laughs> oh my goodness. What an introduction, huh? Hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Yay. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to like get all caught up, y'all. <laughs> You know, I know. <laughs> Take it all in. You know, it's yeah. This is this is our you know our coming out. I guess so, you know our 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 new little trend we're trying to set here. So, yeah. for everybody who don't know me, I'm Tawana G, and I'll let my co-hosts introduce themselves. Y'all want to yeah. start, Erica? You want to start? Um, my name is Erica Draper Hunter. And, you know, anybody who knows me, like Andrea know me, she know I like a challenge. And right now, this is my first rodeo out here, y'all. So bear with me, but I'm ready to take the bull by the horns. We gonna get this, ladies, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what we do on a normal anyway, so it feel nice and comfortable. Well, I'm Andrea. I'm pretty much, you see me everywhere on YouTube. You know, I got my own opinion. I'm going to tell you how I feel. Good, bad, or indifference, period. So like it or you don't or love it. <laughs> now, I, now I know why E-Black put us all together. <laughs> that's pretty much what's going to happen today. So period. <laughs> thank you, E-Black, first of all, for just putting us all together and, you know, starting this whole yes. show. We're we going to give E-Black his props love it. today. Yes. And then... Thank everybody for coming, supporting us, sharing it, like it. Definitely. Do whatever. We're going to talk. We're going to talk, 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 talk. And we really want y'all to enjoy this. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Going on. We got a lot going on. But you know how we all kind of like, so I don't know if y'all know, but we're going to be talking about reality TV. We're going to be talking about like kind of how we view some of the shows that's on and kind of giving y'all some recommendations and stuff that y'all should watch. Maybe some of y'all already watched some of the stuff. So we'll love to hear y'all, um, y'all opinion too. So type your opinion. Definitely. You know, we want to hear what y'all got to say. Um, but we want to talk about this because I know like for me, when I'm watching reality TV, I binge a lot because I really don't have a lot of time to watch them live sometimes. Girl. Uh, now I catch my shows live that I really, you know, the ones that's like, oh no, I gotta watch that live. I gotta watch. That. But most right. of them, I'm binging, and so I'm de like I'm I'm recording them on a DVR and watching them later, and I'm probably watching it the same day or maybe the next day. But I don't really watch a lot of shows live. So what what about y'all? Like, how do y'all consume um, these I shows? Watch, when I watch live, 
it's probably the most thing I watch live is now Married to Medicine. I, I try to um, watch everything else the next day or when I'm in the, when I'm when the kids are doing something, I can watch it. But I'm trying to watch. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot going on. <laughs> So, it I'm, is. I'm trying, to juggle it, I'm trying to juggle everything, but the most show I watch live is Married to Medicine. The next day is probably um, Honey Boo Boo and um, Judy and the Brat. I watched it the next oh, day. Oh, you watched that? Okay. Yes, okay. yes okay. you sent us those links, so I, I didn't caught up. I yeah. watched all of them. I was yeah. like, I'm <laughs> right. And I'm yeah. in the nail shop just watching every last one of them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not you, Erica. How do you do you? usually watch the show um you know it's crazy now because literally andrea and i have been watching reality tv since like you know uh real world role rules like we've been watching reality tv since laguna beach i remember when she bought the dvd set in laguna beach the first season like it wasn't like it reality tv wasn't a thing but we was like watching it like we here right. for it you feel yeah. me yeah and now it's so many shows Yes, and so much to get into that I have to binge watch. Yeah, because it's just not enough time to be able necessarily to. It's so many options to watch on a on a daily that it's like I don't have time to watch it on a daily. But I will binge watch um, whatever I haven't watched during the week. Right now, um, since I had went on vacation, I'm really catching up with um, Mar uh, Married to Medicine and uh, Married at First Sight because it's in Cali this season <laughs> and uh, Big Brother. Oh, it um, is in Cali. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's in San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I usually binge watch. I'm like you. I record on my DVR. And then I'll when, when everybody is asleep at night, they don't like to watch the stuff that I like to watch. You know, because it's just my thing. That's why Andrea and I bond, because other people watch other things. <laughs> you know, I watch in the middle of the night. Right. It's only some yes. shows you can watch with your husband. And then the rest of them, he like, nah, I ain't. I'm not watching no Housewives, no Love and Hip Hop. Right, he like, they give you one or two. They give you one or two. Pick one your two. favorite one or two. That's all you getting. That's all I got to watch for. all the love shows okay. with me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, you're going to watch this. Me too. Movie at first sight. Maybe me too. Because you just like him. <laughs> yeah, that so, part. But you know what? When you brought up Laguna Beach, it's so funny how I started watching that because I was in college at the time. And our teacher gave us an assignment. It was like our English teacher. And we had to literally binge watch shows. And she gave us different really? shows. And I had never seen Laguna Beach. Some of the other shows I had seen. Well, Laguna Beach was, um, yeah, it, it was, it, they started when, they, when it was like eight, 17. Right. Yes. I, was, I was married. I was married. With, when they were still with, in high school. Right. He's at 25. And my, and my ex-husband hated that show. He was like, I hate reality. <laughs> right. I was like, look, I felt like I was living my lifestyle through, through them. And my parents would let me do. It was shit they was doing. I was like, oh, this is good. Yes. But that's when Lauren was still on. Yeah. Yes. You know, her and Heidi yes. was best friends and all that. Yes. So I binge watched it and was like hooked. I was like, oh, I'm that's hooked. It. And yes. so I wrote my paper, got an A on that paper because I hooked <laughs> that paper up. I was like, every detail i forgot what the paper was even about but that's literally how i got started with laguna beach and then it mm -hmm. was just kind of every show from there real world i mean come on i was watching challenge i was watching anything yes. Else, yes i was watching it so we like to binge i mean that's what we do i mean i guess we have to binge kind of in this mm -hmm. you know day and age so i feel like you right you're right it's so many shows that it's kind of difficult to watch like four it shows is. in one day and it is it's, it's popular days though like when it's, shows are going on like i watch love and marriage huntsville live most of the time because it's on me saturday too. okay too. yeah because it's a saturday night and you saturday go home. Saturday. yes so you can watch they that. tapped into that that i right. think they tapped into that purposefully that a lot of times married people or people who are at home and have children are at home on a Friday or a Saturday night. Right. right. So we mm -hmm. want to watch. So we want to watch. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, I mean, let's get to talking about some of the shows. Kayla, um, I know she's on Ready to Love, <laughs> but I know you're going to uh, get into that, Erica. So 
go ahead and let us and re know. <laughs> ready to love well ready to love is not on yet i know that we found out that she's a has been a content creator or or has a, a platform a youtube platform as well okay right and so i'm interested because i don't think that show has began started yet i think it's oh, it hasn't next week. started no it's next week or the week after next that it's going to start and premiere. So I'm very interested to watch it because it's like one of us mm. is, is I on mean, the I show, don't know right? Kayla very well. I just know that she's on the LaPeep show. So she has like a presence. She's mm -hmm. an influencer or she has that social media presence. And so it's going to be right. interesting. They showed a little clip of her. She was like, I already got a kiss. Like, I already got Theory. somebody. Did y'all see the clip? <laughs> I did. I, I didn't did. see I that. Didn't watch that show. <laughs> she was like, I'm already the girl. So right. get y'all stuff together. Here I am. <laughs> but I'm what do y'all think about Ready to Love? Like, what what you think about that show in general, just overall? It's all right. <laughs> I am not interested in that show. I think it's a bunch of BS. Yes. You ain't going to find love in those exactly. two days or 20 days. However long they there, you ain't going to find love. You find lust, okay? So I'm not interested. No, they, thank they, you. Everybody. There's that. There's that. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, what you think, Erica? Because I feel like you like it a little bit, right? I mean, I, I like it because I like to investigate personalities and kind of be the fly on the wall. That's why I like reality TV. Um, I don't think the I don't think it's really ready to love. I think it's like kind of like ready to like or ready to fall in love because <laughs> she's right. It like happened so fast. And I remember the very first season that they did. Everybody stayed in the house together. Like everybody stayed in the same like place in the first season. But I think it interrupted the cast members like lives so much. And, and maybe to some people or some viewers, it didn't seem as authentic because in real life, you don't completely stop your life to like mm -hmm. start dating somebody for six or eight weeks or mm -hmm. however long the season is. So um, I think they went to the format of doing the show where people still live in their own homes and have their own lives and whatnot. Um, but we're doing the show at the same time. Yeah, you know, so I feel like it's like a ready to like because it's been people caught that are in yeah. relationships or 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 dating other people while the show is going on. People that are not on the show, like because people are still having their real lives. I mean, and people just get on reality TV sometimes for specific <laughs> things, for, right? For, like for, for reasons, yeah. Right. So, like, are they yes. really trying to find love? But exactly. here's the thing, though. They're dating. What I do like about it is they're dating and they're being honest about who they, who else they're dating. Because you know, in real yes. life, yes, you, you can be dating somebody and then yeah, they dating. Tell you they lying. I'm single. I lying. always, I always say, they spend time thinking Harry on the other side of town. At least you know, yes. okay, he's, he's interested in this one other. Yes, girl, yes, he's interested in this because. You know, it's just like okay, you in real life, you don't know what you that's got a going great on. aspect. Cause I used to tell Andrea that yeah. all the time. I used to be like, anybody you meet that you just meet them, assume they're dating and they, they already have a number one and number two. Right. Right. And you're entering into the equation. And it doesn't mean that that that's not okay. Cause if I was thinking about myself, it's like uh trust, I got a number one and number two. <laughs> you just be <being> in. <laughs> You just be coming in. You can bump let's yourself see. up. Right. You can bump yourself <laughs> up. Let's, let's see what you can do. But Maybe they're going to mess see. it up. But I, I definitely think that is a that that is true. That in that situation, you get to know who somebody's number one and number two is by how, you know, they respond or who yeah. they want to keep around. Or yeah. you end up, it always end up coming out on the show who the other people are talking to privately and the conversations they're having. Yeah. And so I think that's, that's the only thing that I can see that's like, yeah, that's a plus. But yeah, like y'all yeah. said, it's like, I that. I it's like love though. Ready to lust. It's like, right. Like ready to lust. That's right. what they're doing. Yeah. I never see none of the relationships really be successful. It's been a few. You know what I mean? Like they right. had an engagement, right? They yeah, had an engagement. I, I don't think it's been enough time to get to know each other. You're either yeah. you're dating somebody else or it's, it's it's you're not spending enough time to to know each other. So yeah. that's why I was like, I'm not interested in the show because if you're gonna spend enough time, you need at least six months to know somebody. Yeah, yeah, it's not enough time for love. It's no. not enough time. 
yeah, they not ready to look. I mean, but they don't even. I mean, because last season, I, I was so disappointed in some of the men because I'm like, really? Y'all they not ready to TV. love nobody. Reality TV. But then that girl, Camille, she got so much backlash. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> Camille was like, you my man. Period. Camille said, you. She said you, my you man. can't participate in the process. You go be my man. <laughs> and y'all better not vote us off either. Because we want to be around for the whole show. Why did they keep them on so long when they would not mm -hmm. date other people? They would not date other people. They only dated each other, but they stayed on the show for like half of the season. I'm like, like relationship bullies. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what is the point? They was like bulldozing their way in. Camille was yeah, like, I need to Camille. get to at least episode eight. Yeah. But it's me. Or, and you. or the producers was like, y'all got to vote her in. And y'all got to vote him. I mean, maybe yeah. trying to keep the show interesting. Trying, trying to keep the crazy on, yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, it just didn't make no sense because they were the only ones that would not date other people. They wouldn't. So, Ready to Love is a good show. I mean... It is good. It is. Now that Kayla's on it, we got to watch it, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. I got to see what you up to. And Andrea, do you know her personality or whatever? Like, how uh, do you think I'll she's going to do I'll be honest. I told Eve that like, I know who she was, what she about. I don't. Oh, even, I, 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 this okay. is the first time hearing her, so I will check her out over the weekend when I'm yes. free. Yeah. I will check her and see what she said. But I'm gonna give my honest opinion. So uh, she better definitely. Watch. I'm gonna say how I'm gonna say what she Ooh, doing. Kayla, okay. cause we all going We just going We gonna give you the honest truth, honey. I know. Yes. So we you, apologize you in that you day. Now. Now the TV or you <laughs> We can't man. take it easy on you. I mean, I guess we don't apologize, but no, not no. at all. We're just gonna tell you just how we feel. But hopefully it's good things. Hopefully we're like, you know, go on, Kayla. You yes. just, so we we're gonna root for you. But if you don't, if you disappoint, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to let you know. So ready to love y'all so watch it on reality tv or she on there for love because I'm, 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 I'm gonna check her out because i'm gonna spot it out when i see it i'm say, oh she's on here for reality tv not love yes well i will say this she looks beautiful in the yeah, she like gorgeous. she looks gorgeous mm -hmm. hopefully she does she finds she a, does a good if she really is on there for love I hope she finds somebody that's really good for her. Yes, and I hope I she really be like the too. only success story, especially because she, you know, she, you know, she in, <laughs> right. she in these space, right. you know, okay. so it would be nice. It would be nice. I think everybody just watch it. Y'all come back so y'all can hear our opinion because we're going to talk about it. Yes. We um, sure we ready to love it. Miami. I mean, that is a nice place. We're going to get into that thing. I lived in my in Miami for two years, y'all. I don't know if I told y'all that. I did. I lived there. I love Miami. I lived in North Miami Beach, but I worked in Miami. So okay, yeah. So Alrighty. I know. Well, let's just move on to the next topic because I know the next one is on you, Miss Erica. What you think about this show? Go ahead. Oh, married to medicine. That's that's an, that's Andreas. I, though, That's I it. The, the mini Dr. Heavenly over oh, there. That? Oh, yes. oh, Lord. <laughs> Dr. Heavenly is her spirit yeah. animal, honey. Oh, no. You married at first sight. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> my spirit is sister. That's my spirit right That's my sister right now, Dr. Heavenly. I love Dr. Heavenly because she tell you how she feels. Oh, she don't give a damn. She'll cuss somebody out. She'll call you the right. <laughs> She don't care. And Dr. Damon, he, he, he's sweet. He needs he somebody. Like Dr. Damon is very sweet. He don't get mad. He doesn't get um angry. He does, He's mild tempered. See, Dr. Heaven needs somebody like that. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. I think they combinate each other because he know how to calm her down. He know how to take her personality. And he yes. don't take her seriously, but he loves the shit out of her. Yes. And they yes. got but married to medicine, um, we got Dr. Jackie, we got Dr. Simone, mm -hmm. Dr. Heavenly, we got Contessa. Oh, I can't stand her ass. Okay. <laughs> Contessa, oh, my damn nerve. We okay, can Contessa we talk about alone. that? Why do you hate Contessa so? Much? I need to talk about that. Okay, why, why I hate Contessa? I'll tell you. Please, I got, okay, my number one, she all over the place. My number two, she get on my damn nerves. My number three, <laughs> I'm just sick of her ass. Okay, and then number five, Scott. Lord help you. <laughs> you know, last season when she was all when she was over the place and she went to college in Tennessee, talking about she wanna be a oh surgeon. She was booed to Scott. She was like, the kids that the kids kids eat McDonald's. Where you at? 
Why right. you, have, you right. left with these three kids and you are you in another you in another state somewhere? Girl, shut up. Shut right. up. Right, right. In your apartment by yourself with three kids and a husband <laughs> in another state. She's mad because she decided to leave the military and marry a husband with three and she got three kids. She she, she didn't even know him. She want she said, I want to stop working sky and be a mom. She was only a mom for like six months. Five minutes. Toy, I used to love the toy. I did. But okay. damn it, get a job. Get a J-O-B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I can hear you. Well, she on love and she on the show. Mary, that's her job. Oh, Mary, that's, Mary. Right. Hey, that's her job. He the shit, he working the, the shit out of Eugene. Eugene is a doctor, and Lord help him because he loves his wife and them kids. But <laughs> damn it, that is too much pressure on a man. Got to do everything. Tell your kids go to school full time. What is she doing all day? The kids go to school full time. Get a job. She not she not working out. That's <laughs> <laughs> she she definitely nothing. is not at the not gym. I don't know, know what no. you do. I'm trying. Eugene needs help. No. Eugene needs help. Get a party. She's a party I'm planner. Not. She part she playing parties. When is the last time she party When is the last time she did a party? Come on, let's stop lying, Erica. <laughs> she so, when she had parties, she had the best parties. She really do. Eugene needs help. She's driving the man to the graveyard. She too. is. She okay, is. Okay, Eugene she needs is. help. And if you, if his wife and you got kids, you don't understand that. You're not helping. You just over here spending money. You buying houses. You don't like this stuff. <laughs> we don't move. We, we don't got. We don't sold this house and buy a, a build another house. Damn it! Right. How many houses do you need? Right. It's like Thank when he had to tell her we. Yeah. I love Eugene, but he's trying to give his wife everything. But sometimes it comes to a point in, the, in your life that you're getting older. You can't work like a dog like he used to. Oh, he's he at that point. Yeah, he's at that point. And then Tori right. needs so much. She needs, if you need so much, help me. It's called a helpmate. Not a right. make for the Do you see, like, do you think this season they're going to have issues? Because I kind of saw a preview of them having some Eugene is He was talking to the guys. He yeah. He's, he's yeah. tired. Yeah, he's, he's, tired. he's tired. He's tired of her a little bit. He's exhausted. Mm -hmm. You're on your way to the divorce house. Uh, do you want that? No. But see, the, here's the thing: men say they want housewives, right? Yes. But then they when the it. wife is okay. demanding and have a and it's a lot of pressure to take care of all the finances by yourself, does that happen? You know what I'm saying? Where it's not even that. It's like to me how you like, and that's why I like watching shows like this because yeah. it's like you get to see that dynamic, right? And and maybe get it some insight on even if you identify with that. It's like, oh, I wonder if my husband feels like that, or I wonder if that's like make me a, a issue in our relationship. The thing to me with Toya is that she's not finding ways where she can help Eugene. Like if you look at the episodes in the past seasons, a lot of times Eugene is working like 14, 15 hour shifts and then he coming home and cooking. When I said I want a housewife, right, why, why am I coming home and I got to cook and, and, and throw stuff on the grill and do all of that? What, like Andrea said, what have you been doing all day? If being a housewife is your job, if being a mother is your job, all I need you to do is do your job. Yeah. I don't think it's anything. I don't think Eugene has a problem with that part. I think he has a problem with the fact that he goes to work and he works as many hours as he works. And then he comes home and now his wife is a job. Yeah. Yeah. And, you and know, I feel, I feel bad for Eugene. Lord have mercy, he would have paid me that house. And he, we would have had a maid up in here. <laughs> help for me and like, right, I, right. I would have got. Some I help. will sacrifice some Louis bags yes, for some help. The help because I Eugene, believe they have. Don't you think they have a maid? I feel like they do. I Even if so. they have a maid, Toya can't do nothing. She can't get a part time job. <laughs> what is she doing all day? Damn it. She ain't get, she ain't she I ain't find it on the way. She ain't a flash too. She gained oh, weight. I don't feel sorry for Eugene. He that's his life that he chose. He's a grown he's, man. Yeah, like he's that's that his that wife. Way. He chose that life. He chose her as his wife. He knew who Toya was. So I don't he feel sorry. He created the monster. I think he, he created the monster we talking about. 
But you know. I don't think I, I think he knew who she was, but I don't think look, look they already had tax problems because there's someone had a bit of IRS on already. Come on now, right. tell the truth. And now they moved and moved and moved out their dream house. Now she want a better dream house. Damn it. Right. I mean, I mean yeah. come on now. You don't need all these houses. You need one nice house for you and the kids. You only got two kids. You only like you don't need a five and bedroom then, house with an elevator in that shit. But what? And didn't she say they renting the that? They renting that. They rent that. The, the house was too small. She said the house was too small. I had house was the all big house that they the built. They built? Yes. yes, she said, she said it, was it was too small. Too small. They I, were I, outgrowing when it. I, when I when I seen that, I threw the water bottle at the TV. Girl. I said, "Lord, have mercy." Up Girl, you got a two story closet. Two story <laughs> closet at the house. <laughs> like maybe <you> <laughs> y'all making that. me choke. Maybe you shouldn't have took a whole floor for your closet, and maybe you. your house wouldn't have been so small. I, I, feel, I feel bad for you, Jean. You know, I mean, you run you, yeah. you, 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 at a minute when you run a man into the ground, it's gonna be a problem, and then you're gonna have he might have health issues. Look, it's enough that Eugene is already a little. You got some. You got some weight on him. Let's tell, tell the truth and be yeah. honest. Toya ain't helping because she ain't because she ain't know that cooking right. She should be helping Eugene get the weight off. She should be helping Eugene exercise because you as his wife, you should be the helpmate tell to him. It, tell it. Tell it. Tell well, it. Well, if you sign up for that, I agree. I okay. think. That I, I wish my husband would be buying me a house like that. Baby, we gonna exercise today. We going to the gym. We gonna do right. You healthy. I set it up. I got the healthy meal. Thank I you. did all the work. All you got. This is what we doing. Now, oh, I, 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 you, okay, you, but I will say, be a helpmate to Eugene. That's true. Be right. a helpmate. But here's the thing: they do have they do have two kids. That is a job. I don't want us to discount that. That is. Not, I'm, wait a minute. A hold job. on a minute. Eugene yeah, it is. is like eight and nine. Girl, that ain't no babies. But it, it, it's, it's a job. It's, it's a job. It's a job. job. I'm, not but, but, but I'm not saying the job, but I'm what I'm saying is them kids can help her too as their mother. Okay. But right. Toya, she ain't You're doing right. that all day long. What is she doing? Drinking all day, hanging out in the pool all day. She while you do always have a good hours? glass of wine. Well, maybe she's doing the housework. Washing the laundry. Don't act like she don't got a don't show that on camera. They don't show that part on camera. But we're going to make assumptions because you know those things got to get done. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You yeah. can't be a helpmate to your husband. Your husband is, is the man of your house and he providing for you and your kids very well. Right. Okay. You can't do that. You can't get a part time job. But you see, can't, you Eugene can't. don't seem like they care about the gender role thing like we do. Do you understand? Like that's I like, No, I don't care. It's not a gender role for their me. House it's don't not function a, like that. Though. For me, it's not a gender role thing. Yeah. For me, it's a thing that if I'm doing this, you do that. Yeah. I and my, my husband and I have had times where I worked more and he, and he was taking care of the house. Exactly. And I it's only so many meals he going to come. I remember we was fighting over the kitchen about a year ago because I was like why in the hell do you go to work every day and then come home and try to be in my workspace <laughs> come to find out it was relaxing to him he he liked to come home and for him it was a form of decompression that I can understand but without that communication it looks like you're going from one job to another to right. another like you do and so initially that's what I counted it up to in the previous um in the previous seasons when Eugene was always doing a lot at home and he was working shifts and double shifts sometimes at work, I always chalked it up to he's doing that because maybe it's a decompression for him and he is something he really likes. Right. right. It's not right. cause it's not cause Toya doesn't want to do it. But in this season, he's kind of expressing like, okay, like even though my husband said that I have to still be mindful of the fact that when he can't do it or when he doesn't want to do it, I need to step into that role. I can't just get comfortable with the fact that, oh, he go to work every day and come home and cook for me and wash the dishes and do everything because that's his decompression. Yeah. It's not fun anymore when then it becomes your job. And I feel like what Andrea is saying is that over the years, Toya has gotten so comfortable with Eugene taking such good care of her that it becomes a point when you're taking advantage Yes, and it's like he just needs you to pick up some slack. He needs you, he needs you to recognize as his wife that he's tired, and to be able to say, you know what, don't worry about it today, babe. I got you. 
and she not yeah. doing that before and recognizing it. Before he gets burnt out. Before he, he get burnt out, he start talking running. to one of them nurses at the hospital. You I know, because it's always 50,000 nurses I'm in them tight ass you. scrubs running around. I'm not even saying that she it, that you didn't want her to get her job, but can you cook with him a nice meal so it keep him healthy? Because to me, if you if you want your man to be working like that, do you want to keep him healthy? Because it's 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 like diabetes could set in. Eugene already had to take he was taking um tosos of uh, tospo um the shots because he was he was he had low energy. So I'm like, let's be a helpmate to your husband. If he's doing 18 hour shift, make sure you have a nice meal when he comes home. Yeah, right. it's your job. But see, Eugene got to take control of his own health too. Yes, he I, does. I, he yes, does. I agree. With, I agree with that. I'm not. I'm not there. But you, if you at home all day ain't doing nothing, you can't cook a decent meal. So, so, but we, but I don't. Okay, she does take care of the kids. Okay, <laughs> because at home, you know, at home, moms they feel like that's super critical because we're saying, okay, okay all stay at home moms are not created equal. Is she at a party? She's not all created equal. Well, they're not, but most of our most most of them, their kids do go to school for a period of time. Yeah. I won't say that they're not doing nothing while their kids are in school. Because it's a lot to be done around the house when your kids are at school. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not even including that Toya has. She's a mother and and is a stay home mom. I'm not. I'm not including that. But let me tell you something. Okay. If you have a husband and he's a good husband and he's providing for your family and y'all yeah. living a good life, you mean to tell me as the wife, as a helpmate, that you married him, that you want him working like a working like a dog, and then he's overweight, he's under, he's uh, he's underpaid because at home he's underpaid because he's providing all the pay all the payment at work. Okay, you can't help him out. He takes you on a nice vacation, hit the kids on a nice vacation. The kids probably go to a private school. Let's be honest and tell the truth. Yeah. Okay, come on. That's all. That's all. That's all I see. Probably. I, see you, I, I don't. That, I don't that recall. Baby is, the chef don't make you a meal. Baby is healthy. It's gonna be good. Baby, you can go back to work the next day and help us take care of the family. And, and I'm not gonna lie. With her having sons, I think it's important for her sons to see how she takes care of their dad because that's the kind of woman they'll choose when they get ready to get married, and or they get ready to be in relationships. And yeah. if you, you're promoting that, you know, you can just be like, yeah, I got my husband and he take care of me. He pay the bills. He go to work. He come home, cook. He do everything I ask. And he put it down in the bedroom. That's the kind of woman that you want your son to marry or to be in a relationship with. Mm. I beg to differ because they watching in this season the, the you you hear you start to hear more from the kids because they've been younger in other seasons, but they are like not okay with the parents arguing and stuff like that in the previews for the season the boys are starting to speak up about you know how things are going so she just has to pay attention you know what I mean it's not I don't think it's a runaway train yet but I, I do agree with some of the stuff that Andrea is saying is that you know before it gets to a point where you can't stop it from going in a certain negative direction and getting derailed, reel that shit back in. Get yeah. back to the wife that you were when you, you know, uh, got I, with him. I just love Toya and Eugene, but yeah. now this season, I'm turned off from Toya. Mm. Now, I can't stand Quad's ass either because I should get on my damn nerves, okay? I don't know why she back because she ain't got no husband and why she why? only with her, with, her, um, with, her, with her nephew and her mama. I'm trying to figure out what her story why, line is. honey. Tessa is using her storyline being mad at Dr. Heavenly because she ain't got no storyline this season. I'm going to tell you Well, y'all heard it from the tea ladies. Now, listen. Tune in to Married to Medicine. It just came on, right? Like, I yes. feel like this is just... Yes. Thing. It's only like... Third episode is... Like third episode. Yes, it's two have aired and there's a yeah, third episode. So, y'all y'all tune in because we're going to be watching. We're going to be talking about it. I mean, you know, we got some, some things to say about some of the um, wives, but I do like Contessa and I like Toya, but that's okay. You know, we're gonna talk about that later. Yeah. I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let the season play out and see if she kind of redeems herself. Yeah, but I think that Married to Medicine is a good one. I think it is a good show to represent black families and black and, marriages. And so, black women who are professional and doctors, professional doctors yeah, who are in I a do. different income bracket. So, mm -hmm. if you do want to watch a show like that. It is a cool show, especially to watch with a couple. Like you can watch that with your husband or your your partner, and Definitely. it's not too 
It's Definitely. not too much drama. It's not too much messy. Yeah. It's a good. It's a good show to kind of. And it's not one sided. The and husbands really like, participate. They do, and the husbands have a bond. On and show. I do like that now that jo Dr. Jackie and Dr. Um 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 Simone are back friends. They mm -hmm. husband. They husband was not being being cool because they the wife was the wife was um had a falling out, and now they're back friends. They husband is was saying on the second episode they were so happy to hang out with each other because they miss hanging out with each other and i thought that was profound to say when when you have two good friends and their wives don't like each other now what happens to the husband is the husband right. the wife because now she's hanging out <coughs> he's, he's he want to ha hang out with curtis so i right. felt like that was so cool they were saying how they missed each other yeah i like that too mm -hmm. the husband's got a whole little bond yes they so cute. So one, are you frozen? I think. Oh, so. I think so. Maybe. Okay. Okay. So married to medicine. Um, oh, love and marriage. DC. Love and marriage Huntsville. Love DC. Love and marriage DC. Okay. Yes. Yes. DC. Because it is ending the season. Um, Love and Marriage DC. That was supposed like uh I love Love and Marriage <laughs> DC. Okay, well, I don't like you it. don't like it, but I sent you the clip today of the reunion, mm -hmm. and I knew I said, Oh, she's gonna dig this. She's gonna she's gonna like this, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes. Um, I really, I really liked and appreciated um the love and marriage DC. All the couples are actually couples. They're established couples. They've all been together longer than 10 years. Um, they seasoned every mm -hmm. single one of them. And I think now um, after the last episode, I even understand uh, more why I identify with Ashley mm -hmm. and, D and DJ fun size, which I'm not mad at because I'm fun size too. Andrea J. <laughs> um, the reason why I identify with them is because she met him when she was young. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And she was only like 17, 18 years old and, you know, and she was really in love with him, but he really wasn't ready to be a husband and she kind of had to do the work to prepare him to kind of be in that space. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, I really like the show as far as being married. This is probably the show that I see myself Mm -hmm. most in that mm -hmm. if I was hanging out with other couples that I would hang out with them. Okay. Now, as far as Monique and Miss Samuels being on another show, like, do you, do you like, like, were you upset that Monique got kicked off of Potomac? Yes. For the fight? And I, yes, I am. Cause I, and, and what's, what's the homegirl named Candace? She should have been kicked off cause she got my damn nerves anyway. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Candace was, was a lot. She's problematic anyway. But right. what I find, I think Monique should have been back on the housewives because I like her back on the housewives. But what I have hey, a problem Chef, with, hey Derek. What I have a problem with, um, when I watched I watched some episodes of DC, but mm -hmm. on the housewives, they did not show that her and Chris had issues. They always showed that maybe, and I don't know, right. they purposely, they purposely not wanted to show their marriage, but on the um on Huntsville, DC, um, they had issues. And yeah, how Chris brought up some other woman. She had she got offended. It, right. it seemed like it, it seemed like they was more real on this this uh, on this, this platform. platform. This platform, and maybe because um, Monique's felt felt safe on this platform because Carlos. Is I didn't think close. about it because um she did not she did not one bit. I never knew one bit on the housewives that her and Chris had issues. So yeah, um Chris. I like I like Chris. That's too. great. That was a great th clip right there. Them yeah. doing the yoga together or them mm -hmm. doing the exercise thing together. That was really great. Yeah. So I'm, uh. I'm glad that I'm glad that we could see that her and Chris is not as perfect as she was on the Housewives. Yes. That's the only thing that um I see on this season on mm -hmm. this um, reality show and this this platform that she's on her own channel that they show that they do got real problems they do got real issues and her how her mother came and helped her and stuff like that yeah so that's a good they point did the show on the housewives so i feel like maybe she was more comfortable and more safe over where she's at because i feel like sometimes the housewives cannot um andy cohen 
I love Andy Cohen, but sometimes he do black women ju not justice. And I think yeah. Carlos, Carlos King know how know how we roll, know how we are, know how you know. we he know how to put us in the right space, and you know how to tell the story better. He yeah, the story better. So yeah. I do not think. I do not think that Andy did, did Monique justice. I'm glad Monique moved over here because it's better. And I'm glad that I finally can see that her and her husband is not perfect. And I'm glad I see her being in her element. And I feel like when she came back this season, it was purposely to show her and her husband what they didn't show in the other, other network. So I'm happy. Yes. Sorry, I missed it, y'all. I'm struggling. No problem. Today. I, I know it's so good. You good? Listen, I need to figure it out because I'm like, why? <laughs> but I'm gonna figure this out. But well, we um, were just speaking about um DC, so that's your show to one. Go oh, ahead. DC. I, you know, I love DC, but um, I will say this. Um, there's three couples. Did y'all say that? Did y'all talk about the couples and everything already? We yeah. were just only we, we we talk, about mentioned Monique. them real quick. No, but she was talking about Monique transferring yes. over from Potomac. Yes, yes. So she transferred over, and then there's Ashley and the Silvers, Ashley and DJ Quick, right? Yes. The Silvers, yes. and then mm -hmm. we have Arena and James, the Tyler. Yes. yes, so and then Winter was like. In the halfway through the season, I don't know. Right. Winter was kind of in the season. I guess she's a life coach and she got some other stuff, so she's kind of well known from what I understand. And her husband kind of scammed her, so she was Did in the season. Her? Did he scam her, or is she told everybody that's her story? She going this was this the story she told uh, everybody. So I'm assuming that that's what's going on. That's everybody what she's telling. Believe. That's what she's telling. But we got to get to the root of that because yes. the cat actually believed that he was scamming her for a minute, right? But I think they're going to turn on her because they're yes, going to they figure, mm -hmm. figure out that she kind of fabricated a little bit. But I thought I so too. Say this. I'm like Chris. I believe Chris. I thought so too. I'm like Chris. Chris, I'm glad I'm you just like, how you don't know he <laughs> live in his mama and daddy basement? Yeah. Like yeah. how I married a whole dude to build a whole life with you and I don't know you live in the basement. Like that's never well, gonna I happen. I will say this about the show. There were three couples and they really were vulnerable. They they they, they exposed were. some stuff. They like, were they exposed history, they showed the imperfections in relationships yes. and how you can still be happy, you can still move forward. Because I feel like sometimes things happen in your marriage or relationships, and people assume that you're not happy. Like right. Well, Calm down. We just had a little bump in the road. We it's okay. real we life forward. over here. It's yeah, real it's life. Real life. <laughs> and so that's one thing they showed that like we went through challenges. We didn't have arguments, fights. Like I don't feel supported sometimes, right. but like ultimately you committed to the bond and whatever marriage is. So that's kind of what Monique showed, and okay. that's what I think. That's what some of the other couples show, especially Ashley and Arena. What okay, you say? So I was watching. I was mm. watching a clip of it. How you feel about the one couple saying I cheated, and then the wife said I didn't know about that. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, oh. They said I don't know about that. He said I. Cheated. She said. I don't but know then she about said, that. but she did. She said that if he did cheat, I got my lick back. Did you remember that part? Yes. 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 I yes. was like, come through, Ashley. <laughs> you know how I go. I mean, the thing is, is they, she was honest about the fact that they got together when she was 17, 18 years old. Right. right. And she was like, I was like infatuated with him. And that, when she said that, I was like, that's why I identify with Ashley. Because I met my husband when I was 16 years old. Really? And I did. And that, uh, excuse me, I wasn't 16. I was 14. He was 16. Is when we met. And so I, I identify with that ebb and flow that you have to go through when you're in reality still growing up right. into the person you're going to be with someone. So you have to allow for mistakes in a greater way than you would if you met somebody at like 35. Right, right. Exactly. You know, you got to you got to allow for that space because I'm still trying to figure me out. You know, I want I want to still be with you, but I'm still trying to figure me out. And they really allowed each other that space. And I thought that was like really profound because it's like in in my own relationship, nobody told me 
that that's how it was going to be. Nobody said, you know, if you get, if you find the love of your life this early in your life, it's going to be a different look than maybe what your friends are talking about. You might have to deal with some stuff that maybe other people don't have to deal with because you guys are still learning and growing into your personal selves at the same time that you're building a foundation for your relationship and your family and your legacy. Yes. And they represented that very well. Like after quick, they showed us that they had to go through some trouble. I mean, some trouble in times. I I need to think she even left him at one point. I feel like a lot of drama that people don't understand that working as a partnership is hard work. It's not easy. Like marriage is hard, but it's also some rewards to it. And you also can still be happy even if you do go through challenges. Like I think that we as a community need to see people be married and like go through stuff, but still be happy. on. We'll focus on, Look, they went through this and they went through that, but yes. so long, they got through it. They got through it together. And the reality <laughs> is, is that most yeah. of the time we come from people and images where it's like, oh, you saw like grandma and grandpa together or you saw certain people together, but they wasn't telling you their business back then. That's right. So you just saw grandma and grandpa together at this point in their life, but you don't know what they went through to get here. You know, they've been married 40, 50, 60 years, but you don't know what they went through to get here. Right. I mean, sometimes, so I think that sometimes the new generation don't want to don't want to put the work in. It's like, okay, I'm not happy yeah. in this marriage. I want out. And I, and I and I and I think it, the, the the ups and the downs, the peaks and the valleys. They like, look, it's getting on my nerves. I'm not happy. I want out. I, I think I'm the old generation. Right. I'm trying to work through the problem. I'm trying to I'm trying to stay stay with my family. I have children, but I think our generation is like, I want out. I'm done. It, this ain't working for me no more. And so I think that's right. That's, they want to immediately go to like what works. Like, let me go to what what's working. Yeah. And it's like one thing I did like ideas. about DC. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Erica. I couldn't. I no, can't hear no, you. Go I ahead. feel like you can't hear. I was gonna say one thing I did like about DC was I felt that it was a true reflection of marriage and relationships, and we got to see different dynamics and and Monique and Chris. They went through a tough time, and she actually got a lot of feedback negative feedback she did. And, uh, or the yeah. way she actually interacted with chris what y'all think about how she was well, representing before, you're, before you before you left i was saying i was saying to erica that on um on uh the other shows that she was on it, it almost act like the her and chris didn't have no problems so i'm glad to see that her and chris are we are, are, are a true couple they got problems they have ups and downs mm-hmm. because i i, I like it i didn't really I like Monique, but sometimes she just she just a little too much for me. Maybe because I'm like her too, so sometimes she did a little too much right now for me. So uh, I like it, Chris, but I'm glad that I'm glad that it showed that her and Chris do got problems in their marriage. And I thought that she was a little petty when he bought that up that, that, that ex girlfriend, and then she got offended. <laughs> I was like, we all had love in our life, Monique. It ain't that big deal, girl. Get said, over here. Anybody yeah, asked you about her? You got anybody asked you about her? Right. <laughs> What she say? Ain't nobody asked you about her. Ain't nobody yeah, yeah, asked you I'm about so her. <laughs> Spilling tea all over the place today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so she was, she, at the end of the day, a lot of people felt like she emasculated Chris a lot, and that they felt like in, in the scenes that were shown that she was emasculating him. I, I don't feel that way at all. I don't think I don't she know. emasculated him. I, I think don't that she emasculated Chris ahead. because at the end of the day, Chris is look sometimes. Sometimes a woman who's extra need a man who's who's mild temper. That go they, they work together. So I get that dynamic, and I'm like I'm like Monique. I'm a little extra, okay. And I need somebody who's like Chris. It's like oh baby, I love you. Okay, you know? I love seeing big old giant bear Chris. Yeah, being like I gotta get these kids up <laughs> in the <Yeah>. morning. And- <laughs> That shit was beautiful. You understand me? Like that, I feel like more men mm-hmm. need to see that. That's that right. no matter how tough you think you are, when sometimes it's our turn, especially mm-hmm. if like Monique, you've been home, you supported him as, in his career, you held the house down while and and helped him focus on just himself and his career. Now, boo, you in the Hall of Fame. I'm trying to get to my own Hall of Fame too. Mm-hmm. And now Support she got time. She got an opportunity. Yeah. Why not yeah. give her the space? And I don't yes. agree with a lot of times people, especially like 
in the YouTube or just social media in general, they are overly critical of people and relationships. It's like, calm down. We all Is have it? issues. We make mistakes. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know why people tend to be so critical of every little thing. Really? Only She's, you know, she's allowed to be overly emotional. Yeah, she's allowed. Yeah. To works for Monique, what works for Monique might not work for you. What works for me might not work for my, 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 right. my name. So y'all have the. I, I personally like if this works for Monique and Chris, I, I'm happy for you because right. that might work for her. maybe maybe my husband, maybe my fiance. It might not work for us, but right. what works for you, you can't. I can't judge what works for Monique and Chris might not work for me. Right. So right. I, I have to give, I have to give them a little grace and say, look, this is how they doing it. I might not could do it that way. But yeah. I, I think Chris is saying, look, I gotta get these kids up because my wife has been down for me, my football career, everywhere I move, yes. everywhere I done. Let me help me get these kids up while she's doing what she wants to do and just gonna make her happy. And yes. at the end, at the end of the day, if you supported your husband in his football career and now his now you got a chance to do what you want to do and put you put your your dreams and goals on hold. Chris right. can do that. What's what? And your mama came, mama, your mama came too to help too. Right. And so, I don't take it as her coming at him when she said to him on the couch that day, you can't just wing it with three kids. That's right. I, I feel like that's somebody who is seasoned, who has done it from being, having one kid to two kids to three children that she trying to, she, she upping you on game. Mm -hmm. She telling you, look, you got to plan some things out. Something that she probably didn't have. She didn't probably didn't have somebody telling her, you can't just wing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. you have the benefit mm -hmm. of her telling you how to navigate yeah. this role with the tools and the things that the kids are already used to. So even still, if you're doing the job for me now while I'm on my radio show and I'm doing my thing and I'm having my come up season, you still get the advantage of me get, being able to give you the playbook. Yeah, she's already, she was just she's giving already, him the playbook, she's already, she's already, and then they, they helping they even, him out. But they even cut that scene because she did they say did. she did say a lot more, and it it didn't sound like you winging it. It was more so like, look, I have to prepare, I have to do this. You know, you can't really wing it. They just cut that one part, and so now it sounds like she was saying that. But she really was saying a whole lot of stuff. So I think, um, like I you agree. said, it was really a show. It was a good representation. But, you know, they also have Love and Marriage Huntsville, which is the mother, right? They started this whole Love and Marriage, you know, franchise. So Love, mm -hmm. and, so Love and Marriage Huntsville, they kind of was, like, supposed to be what I think D.C. was, like a representation of Black families. But then... People started like questioning some of the marriages and the authenticity of them, like mm -hmm. Mel and Martell. <laughs> so what do y'all think in the I mean, I mean, I, I mean, look, let's, let's be honest and tell the truth. Mel and Martell was on the way out anyway. So they were doing reality TV. They was on their way out from each other. But mm -hmm. I do believe that Tisa and Martell, they they marry. Kimmy and Maurice, and Maurice are married. They are really they're really but don't get me wrong kimmy kimmy is much older than maurice and look she was like look you doing too much like on this next season you doing too much and 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 but i, I do like kimmy but sometimes i don't think she's she standing for tisa um but i don't like mel because she talked she talked too damn much for me and i, I see how marcel cheated on her ass she talked too damn much yes she talked too damn much. I see like, that. Exactly. You see why Martel cheated she on her? Yes. yes she she talked too much. And That's, I what, she That's season, what she said. That's what she said. She talked too damn much for no, me. No, no, no. She ain't, ain't no that, reason she ain't why back. he cheated I, on I, his wife. She's not she, taking it back. She, she talked too damn much. She talked too damn much. I see why he cheated on her. Okay. No, I don't see why he cheated on her. He should have kept it in his household and his marriage because he's regretting every decision. He don't even like the girl. Melanie knew. Look, look. If you watch Maryville and Huntsville, um, the, the lady said, Melanie said, lady came to me and said he was cheating on her. his best friend. Said that. So if you said that beginning before you got married, you already knew he got potential for cheat. I'm just saying that's already a fair. That's already you did a tell flag. you did up me on that. That that's that a red flag already. You already got potential to cheat. He said right. he was already. Cheating you did on tell her. me that. He, let me tell you why he married Melanie. I'm gonna keep it 100. She okay, was pretty. Yeah. She was pretty. She gonna have some pretty kids. She gonna be a good wife to him. 
That's why he married her. And, and she's smart. And, and she's smart. And she's smart and educated. That's yep. why he married her. Okay. But he over there on the, on the other side of town with the side chick too for five years. Now, what? Now, five years? Five years. Melanie knew about the side chick because she went over there and picked the side chick up, car up. Now, now you didn't know about her? Well, you Derek, De so, Derek wants to know. Yeah, y'all got a question for the question. panel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we put that question back up. He says, Question, how exactly are men supposed to behave on reality TV? Understanding that most men don't want outside parties in their business. Well, when you get on reality TV <laughs> and you making money, what you expect? You're going to tell your business. What there. are you talking about? Right. It's part of the course. That. You're supposed to behave like you married and in the relationship. Whatever your role like is it. in life, you're supposed right. to be Represent yourself that. how you want to be represented. Yes. And he knew and Melanie knew when they yes. first went on this program, as we, we didn't know as viewers, but yes. from season one, episode one, it was already out to the participants paying members that he was having an affair. Right. They want they want to Atlanta and he she came on a on a trip. Yes, yeah. she right. didn't she didn't want to do the show. She wanted to back out of the show, but yeah. she moved forward um with promises from Carlos that he would represent her properly um mm -hmm. in the show and it would be more of a service to her to move forward than to just not do it at all. Yeah. yeah. I don't well, I don't it, have it, I don't I have respect for Martel because he I'm not saying Martel. I'm not saying Martel is a bad marriage, but what I am saying, what I am saying, and I said from day one when I started watching, when I started watching the show, she talked too damn much for, for me. Let's talk too damn much. But what I said is, <laughs> I already had problems. But they already had problems in this. When they started filming, they already had problems. So you was to me. I'm 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 being honest. You was lying to me because you only talk to each other. But see, he don't talk. He he knew who Mel was when he married her. So if she talked too much, he should have not married her because she. So that ain't his true, issue. True. That true, ain't true, his true, issue. True. It's okay. Mel already knew. Sometimes Mel already knew that he was already cheating on her before they before he went down the aisle. So do you? So you? Right. So she, yes. When she so said I, that, I that, that ain't that nobody had a problem in this marriage, okay? Because Mel already knew that he was cheating on her because the best friend told her on the phone. Yeah. That's Before right. you gonna walk down the aisle. So number right. one, he had potential for cheating. Number one, he had potential he was gonna be cheating on you. So you didn't know this, Mel? Come on now. And you had four kids with him? Come on now, Mel. I so don't blame him. So what happened to the season, y'all? Do y'all know what just happened? Because they just stopped. They on hiatus right now. Well, they're on hiatus. Okay. They didn't just that they, they decided for the first time to take a mid-season break. They want to keep us in suspense. Okay. And keep us, you know, like like fifty and then it's cent gonna come back. Y'all know when? When is it gonna come September. back? I want to see that reunion. Uh, it's back in September. 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 Yeah. Okay, yeah. so DC's reunion is tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we I get to see what it really is going on. Yeah, we're gonna see what's going on, and then we can really kind of wrap up our our like real perception of winter because I I I feel like they're gonna expose some things about winter tomorrow and they really she's and the only one who haven't had no no real real exposure yeah. like she her focus has always been on the husband and him being a scammer uh -huh. and all that type uh -huh. of stuff but to be honest like you said we, I, I really don't know anything about winter yeah other yeah, than the fact that she's a you know like a life, life coach, coach and therapist, yeah, therapist. That, book, that book that she did somebody helped her right that's what I was told oh it was like an ebook that's the, love, the, love it, journey, the love journey that she had. Yeah, so we so we're gonna watch the reunion tomorrow. We're gonna catch up on that. We're gonna move on now to Mary at First Sight, Erica. So tell us all about Mary at First Sight. Oh my goodness. So Mary at First Sight is in San Diego. We going back to Cali. Cali. You know, because you know, Andrea now. It's hot in Cali. You feel me? It's hot I, here. Love Cali. I didn't know. I didn't know how hot it was gonna be in Cali, right? I was like, mm, San Diego. I don't know about this. And right. so I really didn't watch like like how you said, like how we said earlier, we binge watch, right? And so just last night, 
I started binge watching from the introduction. And, you know, Married at First Sight is like a commitment. No lie. Because they have shows, which is why I liked it in the beginning. Because I get so invested in the show. And it'd be like 30 minutes or an hour. And I'd be like, I want more. I want more right now. But Married at First Sight have like three hour episodes. Right? Like you have to be committed, committed. You gotta be committed. You gotta be committed to married at first sight. Like, <laughs> like you gotta marry into the season two. Like, do you say I do, yay or nay? Like, what what's good? I'd be that, super invested. Super invested. I, me too. Once I get into it, like I'm super into invested. it. And I'm like, I'm like on my way. So the pre thing, I and I liked, like, I feel like I've been watching since the first season, and I feel like every season. They get better and better, which is what I do like about the franchise, right? Like whatever doesn't work from the previous season, they they tweak that and and they and they make it better for the next season. Like this season, I think that in the preview, they only show Dr. Pepper and Pastor Cal because they're the only two people that are coming back as professionals from the previous season. They're going to have two new professionals that are coming on that help pick these couples this season. Right. And I love pastor Cal and I love Dr. Pepper too, with her little, with her little spicy self. I love me like, some pack pepper. Dr. I, I really like, I pastor really like them both. Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, Dr. Pia, one of the guests, she went to college with me. Oh, so, really? like, I know her from college. So, I was like, girl, I can't wait to see you on the season. Because oh I'm a fan. God. So, I can't wait to see her on the season. But, yes, like, we are, we're in the same grade. So, She's on the show. She went to U of I. That's U of I so alum. cool. So I'm supporting her, and I'm so excited. I was like, "Girl, I watch the show anyway," but I can't. That's wait to so see dope. It. Oh, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I yeah, love so it. It's no, it's I been mean, good. It's been really good so far. Yeah. Um, and like, uh, like the couples seem really compatible. I did. I wasn't sure, you know, because you always look for yourself when you like. I think that's the thing about right reality TV. Yeah. Like, really, we're all just looking for a piece of ourselves in right. all these people, or we're looking to see how we can identify with all the different scenarios and things like that, right? So as I'm watching, I'm like, I don't know if I can really identify, you know, with any of these people or I understand where any of them are coming from or their reference points. But then I started watching. And like always, when you watch <laughs> reality TV, you know, you either find yourself in someone or you find somebody, you know, right. Like that's the that's the addiction of it, right? Is that you you see always see somebody that is relevant in your space usually, or you're not gonna watch. Mm -hmm. So favorite couple, like who, who so My far? favorite couple so far? Yeah, I think are the two really really dominant professionals, or um. Oh, I don't even remember their exact names. That's so bad because the that's how fresh the show. They are. Um, oh, what are their names? Let me see. It's the it's the he the guy has braids and the girl um, the the girl she's not a girl the woman um, she does real estate I think and he does investments and things like that and I think the difference is is she learned her craft more in a professional way and he learned what he does in an unconventional way through trial and error but I think that they're both looking for that match that's a that is like the power couple and they really could be that for each other. Like her mom on the, on the episode I just watched, her mom was talking to her about a prenup, right? And I was like, oh God, I got to talk about that on the show because I never thought about that, right? Like it wasn't until last season that I ever thought about it when one of the couples, um, the, the woman was always concerned about the fact that the guy didn't have a job. 
and that he had come on the show from being on hiatus from COVID and he worked during, you know, in contract wise, but he kept reassuring her that don't worry, I got money, I got savings. But it wasn't up to him at that time to be like, how much? I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to be with you. I'm not telling you how much I got in the bank. For me, the whole right. season last season, I was like, girl, just shut up. He trying to tell you he's straight. But she wasn't listening because of her background and things like that. She just kept trying to, like, milk it, right? And it 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 made it relevant to this season where the young lady's mom was asking her, like, are you going to ask for a post nup? I never thought about that while watch, watching Mary for, at first sight, that these are legal marriages. And when these people yeah. are getting married, especially in the state of California, right? The thing is half. Where, where, where community property is involved. <laughs> Maybe that's why they yeah. never really talked about it like that before. Because out here is yeah. community property. And, and um, Maybe. right. Hey, whatever you guys have, we're going to buy right. it. Um, <laughs> so what's your least favorite, Erica? Like, who's your least favorite couple? My least favorite couple yeah. right now. I mean, it's so early in the season. I know, but this, you know, it's like this one we judge the most in the right. I know, right the I know. Because <laughs> in the after show, in the after show with Keisha, shout out to Keisha Knights, you know. Um, yes, they already picking they, you know, people to make it and not make it. Um, mm -hmm. I think my least favorite is the couple that the guy is older he's the, it's one of the oldest uh or the most seasoned uh husbands that they have he's 41 mm. and he's not with really the band -aid, with the band-aid on his head <laughs> did you say the band-aid the band-aid <laughs> the man with the ball yeah yes yeah you talk about the the, the band you this is this the band-aid <laughs> Yes, the oh, with the band aid. I don't know why I don't have. I don't know. I, next time I will definitely have their names like matched up to the couple. But yes, the, him. He's a surfer. He, um, you know, a, a couple years ago he was like the manny for his niece and stuff. Like yes, him. He hasn't been in like a solid relationship. Mm, yeah. And so yeah. I think that is to me. Um, the most fragile because I feel like he'll be quick to bail. Like mm. not like physically bail, but mentally bail. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he'll be the first to be like, mm, you know, like I don't need this, you know, and he may not be as apt to, you know, being malleable about, you know, uh, the, the ebb and flow that's required for a relationship. When you're getting into a partnership with somebody, like you have to make concessions for the things that maybe might infringe upon you and then they make concession concessions for you for the things that might infringe upon them. I don't know how apt you are to do that at 41 and never have been in a real, real serious relationship. Plus on top of that, he's his storyline is that he's super, super environmentally conscious. Like okay. he's the guy right. who will go off on you in Starbucks because you didn't use the same cup or whatever to like ask for water and you ask for another plastic cup or something like he's like that guy yes okay well he said so vincent which is a lot so vincent and brianna are having they're expecting their first kid that was one of my favorite who oh. vincent and brianna remember i got i don't i don't remember their faces from last oh season is that God. last so season so Brianna, she married the Dominican. Um, he was he's from he's from Dominican Republic. He was his name was Vince. Yeah, Brianna, I love them. Really? They were the students. They having their first baby. She just posted her okay. like her pictures and she showed like her little That's baby dope. bump. And I was like, oh, I love, but it's so many. Couples. I feel like they get it right most of the time. They like do. of all the dating or marriage shows that I watch, one of the reasons why I continue to watch, even when I don't feel like I might I not identify with any of the couples, is because they're getting it right. Yeah. Diana and Greg. Just look at Diana and Greg. I'm Kristen saying. And 
Yes. All of them are still married yes. over five years. Yes. It's some, it's some of them who are even longer. They they got it yes. right a lot of the time. So y'all check out Married at First Sight. I mean, check that out. is a good show. Now, let me tell you this about Justin and Ashley. Now, he told her he was celibate and she started yelling it to the crowd. I said, you talking about Mr. Tall? Yeah. Why did she do that to him? He said, no. I'm celibate. And then she like told her family, he's celibate. I'm like, why, why you did you that? that was supposed to be y'all? Right. Told you right. Like, well, that that information. Celibate. She was like, I hope he ain't going to be celibate tonight because I won't <laughs> like, right. I don't even know him. <laughs> <laughs> right. She more ready. And she more ready to not be celibate because she like, ooh, he got he, like, well, he's go straight. Ahead, girl. Go ahead, be the again. Maybe he need an aggressive person because he seemed like he mild man. I feel like he does a little bit. I feel yeah. like he does slightly. It's like one minute I feel like they are really compatible. And then sometimes I feel like maybe she will see him as more like you know, like a child and not as manly as she needs somebody to be. But right. I also saw him in the clip with his brother that helped raise him. Yeah. From four from age 14 to 19. Right. And he was kind of like, well, by then. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. what that tells me is that even with people he loves, he's not afraid to stand up for himself. And so while he may seem like a pushover, that clearly he's not. I got a question. I told my husband the same thing. I was like, I don't think he was show at all. Yeah, I don't think so. What's your question, Dre? Uh, do y'all think What's that reality, saying, reality TV is making making some of the black men be be bad on reality TV? Oh, the women are overpowering the men on reality TV. Mm. That's making them be bad. No, like they're, they're like they act like how they say Monique was pushing over 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 Chris to mm -hmm. y'all. That is it purposely or it just happened or that's the way that they dynamic 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 is between them two. Because I'm I'm how people are saying reality are making black women be be not in their feminine energy. We well, got listen, men. Men, listen we got now. It's drama in all of the shows because I watch all of right. them now. I watch Housewives, right. uh, you know, Orange County, Beverly yes. Hills. Right, all of and them. So what happens is women are a little bit more dramatic than men. So yes. I think quite mm -hmm. naturally, a lot of the shows are geared toward women as well. Housewives, yes. love and they're, they're kind Absolutely. of geared toward the women. The women are a bit more dramatic than men. Men tend to be a little bit less dramatic and quiet so yes. they look like the good guys sometimes or they look like they getting pushed over when really even though that might be not might be the case that, behind that might the not scenes be the case. yeah i feel mm -hmm. like reality tv is usually the woman's platform mm -hmm. right yeah. and yeah. and a lot of times when you see in the marriages there are women who have supported their husbands or supported their partners for years if not decades Mm -hmm. before getting their reality TV platform and then they're seeing like oh you trying to be like overbearing this right. my this my thing this player my thing. like this this me over here that was him over there I wasn't all in the camera trying to get shine while he was on the football field or while he was doing his real estate or while he was doing this that and the third this right here is me so yes I'm in the forefront he right here he got my six on do, this. You think, do you think reality reality TV shows black women in a bad light or doing yeah. bad behavior? Yeah, Absolutely. I feel like that's what's I highlighted. Think, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it demonizes black women a lot. Sometimes, sometimes make men look more aggressive. Black men look more aggressive than they are too, or make them look angry, or make them look not as like happy as me be they counterparts but with black women they tend to make black women look like the angry black woman the one that's always fighting they can't tr control her emotions overly <laughs> aggressive don't know how to talk to people and yeah they they definitely highlight those stereotypes they do that they play on those stereotypes yes yeah. i think, I think right. they play on stereotypes mm -hmm. yeah yeah for sure because because they want to get the they want to get the people watching yes yeah. And 
I always feel like this, like at the end of the day, some women choose to go ahead and feed into that to get the bag. Yes. And I, and so I take it with a grain of salt, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not always like um, looking at it as if this is like the totality of who you are when I'm mm -hmm. watching, because I know it's not. I'm watching a small snippet that's been pieced together of whatever your life looks like as a whole. And so mm -hmm. the bottom line is if showing you when you're angry, it's what's gonna get most people watching that's what they're going to show. Yeah. yeah. Put that comment, put the comment, what Derek said, back up E Black. Thank Mona Scott he, laughed. Yeah, he said, Mona Scott laughed at the question of whether or not these shows show bad. women badly. Hmm. I, I women, say this. Yeah. I say this. Mona Scott is giving black women a job. And look, if you choose to be bad on the show, if you choose to be good on the show, that is your prerogative. You just collect the paycheck. The the ticket. And Mona can't help how you portray yourself because that's your own that's your own self on the camera. You better now, own it. All she's doing is paying you. But if you choose to be yeah. bad, that's your business. You better brand you, you better brand it. You better own it. You better get paid. You, you for can it. choose not to fight. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you get that. Now, 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 Erica, yeah, you know we're gonna have to get a T and an A cup. Now what we gotta get us look here. If I could ship it to you, I would. If it wouldn't cost some more, but if it wouldn't be easier for you, everybody, just go get their own. Yeah, so yeah. look, inspired okay, by Doctor Heavenly, because we know Andrea loves some Doctor Heavenly. Mm -hmm. Yes, Tarjay, five dollars. Okay. okay, okay, Tarjay, get into right, it, yeah, and then that. we all go, and then we can all have our own. You had a T, and then my A. That's right. So yeah. now that yeah. we kind of talked about some of the shows, what what shows like are y'all recommending? What shows are y'all, you know, asking people, like telling people like, okay, tune into these I shows, think, like outside I of the think. shows we just talked about? Mm, I say go watch Honey Boo Boo, um, um, Judy and the Brat, um, Love It Hip Hop um, uh, Miami and Love It Hip Hop uh, Atlanta. Is That's coming, coming on. That's coming back on. So I definitely want to watch Miami because so Trina's you. niece oh. just passed away. Oh, yes. she was killed. Love and Hip Hop Miami, she has. She yes. only 17, I think. Only 17 yes. years old. And, yes. and, and she, then um, she, she, was got, murdered, got, right? she was murdered. Yes, she, she was, was murdered. murdered. She was murdered. Was murdered. So we got um Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and we got um 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 Yandy and her husband and his baby mama gonna come on the show because it's some drama going down with them too. Okay, it's the baby mama on. coming back on. Mama coming back. Yandy, Yandy gonna have to deal with what's her name. Now, what's her, now it's her Erica. Name? Oh, I forget. Yeah, it's, it's Erica Mina. Is is Erica Mina and Safari coming back on this season? Or what? They are, yes, they in my uh huh, they divorced. And they coming back and, um, on Miami Princess and Ray J and Ray J trying to work things out, but they she said I'm ready to divorce his ass still again. Okay, yes, <laughs> they just need yep. to just go ahead and get a divorce. They go ahead and get a divorce. Really, I'm they saying they just need to stop. They can't. We, they can't make the it I feel like the public is ready to sign the papers for them. Like <laughs> send send me the papers, Ray. Send Princess. Send sign. the papers to me. I will. I will sign, I will sign that shit. Like I'm tired of. I can't be in this relationship no more. I like that's what I feel like. Got a couple more questions. Put some questions back up, you, E Black. Got a couple more questions. Derek's yeah. in the chat asking questions. Okay. Okay. Let's get, <laughs> let's get them questions though. I do. I do think people should watch the Brad and Judy. It was. It was good. Yes. I. I. Yeah, yeah, I, really I, good. Was, oh, I, I, I was feeling way. If my husband did that, uh, how Judy was throwing the Brad's food out, I'm like, I'll be mad. <laughs> all the snacks. She was throwing out all the snacks. He was like. <laughs> Like, you gotta throw it all out. Like, we can't just put them somewhere and put them to the side. Like, you just gonna throw all my that was beautiful. I... <laughs> okay, so Derek said all money ain't good money, Miss Lynch. And then we are mad when the dominant societies call us less than what we believe are. Look, we I are. can't ask somebody to make their money if they should be right. bad on the alley TV and get that check. That's their business. Now, is Andre right. at least gonna do that? No, I'm a, I'm gonna get my check and still be going to the bank with it. I'm gonna act a little accordingly because I don't want to embarrass my family. Right. That's the difference. 
Okay, right. Derek. Okay. Well, why do we and why I, do we let why do we let people racialize us? So like if some yeah. black people act a fool, then all black people act a fool. Because I've never yeah. like had That's to fight true. in my life. We we do that to ourselves so much. Yeah. It's like you I don't want to take ownership for what she do, princess do on love and hip hop and laugh. Yeah. I don't care what that ain't got I nothing to do princess. with me. Yeah, I'm not yeah. princess. Right. You know, right. That's what I like. That's what I like. I might know somebody who knows somebody who is like princess, that's but right. it ain't me. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we racialize ourselves. And so if Lizzo go on stage and open her legs, then oh, look how black women That's act. No, good, no, no. That is a Lizzo good, act yes. like that. Lizzo, Lizzo act like not me. me. I'm not on my Instagram showing all my body off. Right. Okay. Yes. Yes. I don't okay. do that. My, my pictures, but you know, I did I did hear a brother say this. When he trying to date a woman. <laughs> I, I did this myself. He said, well, I'm trying to date a woman. I go look at her social media. So one day I was like, is my social media like that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is my social media like that? I was That's, like, no, Oh, <laughs> wow. Let me, wow. Let me, yeah, let me make sure. Make sure it's mine like that. Let me post on pictures like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so you just, can't do nothing on social media. You know what they doing? My Sierra, goodness! Baby. Listen, yeah. if you do anything to social media, you ain't no good wife, no good mom. Oh my no God! Andrea was just talking better. about that earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mess. It's a it mess. is a mess. I mean, but I you're know. right. That was a good. That's a good analogy, though, Tawana, about how you say like, why do we racialize each other? Like, why do we? Yeah. Why is it that's that we always allow one person to represent us as a whole? But yeah. we don't do that to other races and we don't do that to other, you know, cultures, communities. No. Yeah. No. We we let them we let one one person dictate how we all move. And then we put people in our community and then we take ownership for what they do. I'm like, no, no, she ain't <laughs> even she not even what she do. No, stop taking ownership yeah. for that. Stop. Right. I, yeah, I, right. I I I'm not throwing a drink. So don't say I would throw a drink, but I just said I ain't throwing a drink. Right. <laughs> But I, I mean, might, you, know, you never know. I could be throwing a drink. I don't know. I don't know yeah. what, how my behavior is. It depends on what element I'm in. If I feel like right, I'm, it depends. You know, it depends on what element. I can't, I know how to behave, but if you put me in an element that makes me feel uncomfortable, I have wasted you a might good get a drink, drink thrown at you. Um, but you know that that's how it is on all the shows, even because yeah. I watch. The I watch yeah every other, I watch all the other colors okay I watch yeah. the orange county I yeah, watch they, the I, they ship tables right listen if you get out of line with them they, they might do. slap you they yeah. might you just okay got it. it depends on what the Teresa's the in. Teresa's out there you they know them Italians think like. they super duper gangster they, yeah. they, 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 they bad, worse than us yeah, yeah. they will. I mean, so it ain't just it ain't just black women. It's it's all women. They might throw a drink at you. you Let me know, tell you, you something. Know. Teresa Judice is way worse than any per black woman that I've ever seen on reality TV. Well, she runs you every Judge, person. Yeah, mm -hmm. but she don't run everybody. Like yeah. Teresa run ran her family off the show. She <laughs> ran like like come on dog like you ran your whole <laughs> sister in law <laughs> off the show. She didn't bring the prison too. like you are black really ain't going like, to prison, okay? Black women ain't going to federal prison. And come on, federal prison. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And I knew I was breaking up with him when I got the papers that I was going to prison. You got me That's effed right. up. Bye. Right. And I ain't making you know, no bones I will about say, it. I will say this. I like 90 Day Fiance. Now, that's... Yes. Oh, I watched 90 Day Fiance. I've been with since one. And it's a really, to me, it's kind of I don't even know the K-1 visa process and, you me know, neither. dating someone overseas and how you bring over and, you know, this whole idea. A lot of people have a lot of backlash about people who go to other countries to find a yeah. spouse. You know, they call it sex tourism. But if you really right. look at the show, you see people who are truly in love. You see a lot of scams. Right, <laughs> right. Scams. Yeah, a lot of scams. But then you do, you get to see some couples that truly are in love. They get married. They still marry. They follow their right. marriages. And so the 90 Day Fiance fr franchise, that's a really good one. And they got so many, like, spinoffs they from do. it. Like, love they it have, the, they the Caribbean. Have, they get the award for the most spinoffs <laughs> from a reality show. Like, 90 Day the other way, 90 Day this way, come back. COVID. <laughs> yeah, 90 Day afterward, like, 
they get the they get the award. Okay, the but it was it's really entertaining. So if you do it like is. a show, and it, it's got a mixed culture. But don't y'all watch um. What's that y'all watched? The the show with the, I watched uh, Big Brother. I watched Big yeah, Brother. Big Brother. I'm watching, I'm watching And now and now Big Brother is something that Andrea, she's a traitor, and I'm not taking it back. I never watched Big Brother because I really was while I was watching not that I didn't watch like shows like that, but I only watched like stuff that was more on cable, cable, like you know, it, on MTV or you know, or stuff like that. Now Andrea was the one who called me one season, right? And she was like, I'm like, girl, what you doing? Why you ain't answering your phone? She's like, I'm watching Big Brother, right? And I'm like, Big Brother? Like, what is she watching? <laughs> I turn I turn it on, and from the first episode, I was hooked. Guess who doesn't yeah. watch Big Brother at all now? I'm busy. I'm busy. I can't. Damn traitor. What happened? Damn traitor. I you know what it is? I got ADHD. I ain't gonna she lie. She does. Two shows at one time. Now, <laughs> the reason, the very reason why she probably watched Big Brother at first is the reason why she don't watch it now. Big Brother comes on three times a week. Plus, uh, if you have Paramount Plus, they got the live feed, so you can watch it all okay. night. And like, like you're in the house, right? But I like it, because like I said at the beginning, you know, when we first came on, if anybody who knows me, I love a good challenge, right? I like all the challenge shows. I like the survivors, the amazing races, the big brothers, the, oh. the, like the, the challenge on MTV. Like I love them because in real life to me, you are challenged by more than just one facet of your life, right? In, yeah. in real life, you got to, it's not about being great at one thing. It's about being good at everything. Right. Because if you just great at one thing, you're probably still not going to supersede the person that's just good at everything. And in challenges, you got to be a little good at this, a little good at that. You got, It, it got to hit right at the right time. And I like seeing that juxtaposition between all the different kinds of people and who can really succeed in different environments. So you are so, like, alone. you know, even though she don't watch no more, you know. You, you, you right there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. The A and but Erica, T. So you would yeah. like you would like Alone on Netflix, the one the show where oh I like, watch that too. You watch that Naked okay. and Afraid, Alone, Naked and Afraid. I'm I'm here for all of that. Yes, yes. Uh, so you like so I see what you okay. I kind of got your yes, your yes. You know, yes. I watch I watch Marriage Boot Camp. So we, you know, that's coming back mm -hmm. on. So we got to watch Mary mm -hmm. Boot Camp Reality Stars. Now, is it on yes. already or it's coming? Because I need to, like. it's. I think it's coming. It's not it's on coming. already. Yeah, yes. that's going to be good. It just yes, went off used... like about a month or a month or and a half ago or so. Right, right, right. I like. I watched it. You talking about with Phaedra and her and all them shenanigans. Is that what the one you, did y'all no, watch I'm, that? I'm, 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 no, I'm, it wasn't Phaedra. Uh, it was, uh, um, what's his name? What's it, the dude was, oh. it was uh it was uh Rick Dollars, Rick Dollars and, and, Mariah, Lynn. and Mariah Lynn. Yeah. And, and then um K Michelle and her man. Yes, K Michelle and, and her dude was on there. It was uh who else Wait, was on there? That one came on already? Or you yes. said that? No, oh. it came, that was the last one. That, that was the last on. one. So y'all know I'm behind the season. I gotta go binge that. <laughs> right. I can't yes. believe I missed that. Yes. I can't believe I missed that. Okay, I gotta watch that, y'all. So marriage and it was um one. and it was the other people from Love and Hip Hop too, uh Lyrica Anderson and, oh, yeah. her, and husband. her husband. And her yes. husband. Yes, yes, okay. Cause yeah. I know Kay Michelle got into it with somebody because I saw the previews now. It was with Lyrica. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, she got a but, hot but name. they kind of they kind of made amends, you know. Um, but I don't think Lyrica and you know, I don't know how they doing in real life, but mm -hmm. they together. I don't, even I don't think so. I don't think they don't should know. be. So sometimes you if you've been in a relationship, sometimes you can do so much to where you've gone to the point of no return. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really just best to end it as friends and and be at peace than it is to keep yeah. trying to make it work. And I think what the show did for Lyrica and A1 was it made them kind of you know, it, it forced them to kind of come to peace a little bit mm -hmm. and, and be like, you know what, we, we should just end it now and move forward as friends. 
Yes. Yeah. 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 Perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Because they both did so much to one another. <laughs> And yeah. they're still parents. They got, they got a co-parent. They still parent. They have a child. Yes. Together. Yes. Yes. Ocean. So yeah. I know we talked about doing like a hit it or quit it session, right? Yes. So go oh, hit it or quit it. Uh huh. I mean, I guess we gotta name some shows, and we just gonna say whether you should hit it or quit it. The bi- it? the binge the binge shows or the shows that you should like just tune right, into. I, I think people should check out College Hill. Check out College Hill. Okay, you can celebrity you. edition. The celebrity edition. Mm. Check it out. On I, like, I, I like plus. Yeah. A I lot of our favorites that. are on there. there. A lot of our favorites mm-hmm. are on there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a I think that's a good show. So, what's um, I think a good new hit it or quit it show is the challenge, because you know I'm always up for a challenge. Um the challenge from MTV has gone Challenge USA. It's now on CBS right after Big Brother. Um, and I didn't know if I would like it because I didn't know if it would incorporate all kind of like the drama and stuff that like the MTV challenge has. But it has not disappointed. It has uh, people from Survivor, Big Brother, Love Island, and Amazing Race, which are all, which are four CBS shows. Mm -hmm. And then in the future, I think they're also going to do a challenge, um, like a, like a universal challenge that has people from um, uh, shows in other countries. But right now they're just doing uh, the challenge USA and it comes on right after Big Brother. Do y'all have any quitted shows? Because I feel like, I mean, what y'all think about the six, six the seeking sister wives? Y'all think that's a hit it or a quit it? That's a that's a uh, quit it. I'm not watching that. I, <laughs> I'm mad at seeking sister wives. You like, you like I Eric, watch it. It's not movie. it's not like in my top right. But you know how we binge Tawana, right? If I if I didn't yeah. b- watch all these, watch all these, watch all these, I'm up to date on all these. Then I'm like, yeah. Seeking sister wife. <laughs> Let's get into it. You know, Let's like that's that. how I am. I, I think that, you know, it's noteworthy. Um, I think the the lifestyle and people getting into it without religion attached. See, that's the diff to me, that's the difference between seeking sister wives and the sister wives show that was on. Mm-hmm. Cause with the sister wives, there was it there was a religious element to their unions, right? Right. But with Seeking Sister Wife, this, these aren't people who are attached to the religious element of it. Okay. So these are so people sister, who are. So, Sister Wives, we need to quit it. But Seeking Sister Wives, you think that's a good one? They can binge that and get some. Get yeah. Some value it's, it. it's, especially if, you <laughs> know, like that's something that um, you think that you might be interested in learning about. You know, like maybe regular traditional relationships aren't working for you. I think that it's always good to see how other people, because the, the, the thing that you get now with social media is you get to see how other people in the world are moving, right? And so it makes you feel like you're not by yourself and alone. And I think see, see, Seeking Sister Wife is a good platform so people don't feel like like maybe how you think that you could live or the fact that you can design your relationship or your life to be however you want it to be. It, it To me, it gives you permission to make that possible. Um, yeah. um, basketball Wives is a hit. Oh, Basketball oh, Wives. That's yes. been a hit. Yes. Wives. Yes. 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 Good good thank you they definitely need to tune into basketball wise this is supposed to be the last season correct like it, it's been the last season for four seasons it's been the last <laughs> season we're gonna need sean shawnee ain't quitting until that bag stops right right until we stop <laughs> watching shawnee gonna keep bringing them in ma'am period we didn't we didn't went through COVID. covid they went through covid and everything in separate houses shawnee is not Stopping no flow of cash. Mm-hmm. Well, we got a few. We got, some we got some headed. Some of us think we should quit. 
it's sister seeking sister wives some you know erica said it's a it's a go so y'all check it out y'all let us know how y'all feel i think we're gonna wrap it up right ladies yes. y'all got anything to say yes. yeah we we gonna wrap it up we'll be back no, y'all come back a... next friday. friday we'll be here with a new friday <laughs> Yes. We gonna really get to talking. Yes, yes. yes. Great show. We Great show. we did that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. See y'all next time. High five. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> High five, Tawana. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>